The Fairmont Windsor Park has opened its doors to guests for the first time with an autumn soft launch. We were lucky enough to be there on opening day and were among some of the first guests to stay the night. Please be aware that the hotel still has some finishing touches to do, but this tour will give you a good flavour of what to expect from this gorgeous hotel, spa and conference centre. Situated adjacent to Windsor Great Park, just 20 minutes from Heathrow and an hour from central London, the property is surrounded by famous landmarks like Windsor Castle and Frogmore House. Close by is Royal Ascot, Thorpe Park, Theme Park and Legoland for the children. Heading down the tree-lined driveway, in the crisp autumn sun, the hotel comes into view. Its Jacobean exterior is inspired by the previous hotel that stood here. Elegant and modern with over 200 guest rooms or suites, we should head inside and explore. Arriving into the lobby, we are greeted by staff. Above us, a glass-domed roof pours natural light into the atrium and reception area. The impressive marble floor gives a taste of things to come. Heading through the corridor to our room on the second floor, we are the first people to stay in this Fairmont King room. At 32 square meters, it's a very comfortable size. The quality of the finish, the decor, linen and furnishings work well in our opinion. The bed was extremely comfortable. Wi-Fi is available for free throughout the hotel and grounds and you just need to renew it every 24 hours. We found this to be fast most of the time but did note it was slower when there was an event running with a large number of people using it. There is a 55 inch TV above a full fireplace. The room has air conditioning. The mini bar facilities have yet to be stocked and available in the room and room service was not yet listed as an option, but this will come. Fresh and still sparkling water were provided daily. An automatic blackout blind will ensure you get a good night's sleep with no light bleed. The bathroom was exquisite with marble floor to ceiling. The bath was huge, you need to give yourself plenty of time to fill it up.
Fairmont amenities were Le Labo Rose 31 and Very Nice replenished daily. The shower was spacious and hot, but we found the rainfall shower head weak and tended to use the handheld shower to remove shampoo from head. There is plenty of storage space with bathrobe and own iron and board in each room. a safety deposit box and more garment storage. A kettle and coffee machine was provided with a drawer of teas and coffee types to choose from. The 1215 bar is located on the south lawn and we'll see that later. For a relaxing drink with friends or loved ones, this is a cozy bar with some wonderful seating, uh, or you can grab a high chair at the elegant marble bar. The name 1215 originates from the signing of the Magna Carta in 1215, just a short walk away in Runnymede. The fine dining restaurant of the same name has yet to be completed. Note the original, I think, 13th century fireplace, one of three, retained from the former hotel Savile Court. This was a really nice touch. To the side are some booths for more intimate socialising. Moorish is a European and Middle Eastern restaurant. As you step inside to the left is Schroeder's Botanicals Bar, and this will open soon and offer international gins and mixology masterclasses. Breakfast was served here, and in the evenings, dinner in front of the theatre kitchen. Our party had a special five course chef's table experience. They will in the future be offering masterclasses hosted by the chef. The food was fantastic and we had a wonderful interactive experience with the kitchen staff and chef. This was on night two of the hotel opening and I can only imagine things will get even better.
For a more authentic country mansion feel, try the Library Club with period features, another of the original fireplaces, high back chairs and staff waiting to serve you cocktails, whiskies, brandies and more. This space can also be used for meetings and private events. Afternoon tea is a very important pastime in England. In the Orchid Room, you can soon enjoy a luxurious afternoon tea with finger sandwiches, pastries and champagne, all served on bespoke crockery. The owners of the previous hotel collected orchids from around the world and this pays homage to them. I believe it will be able to be booked by day guests. We showed you some of the outside grounds at the beginning, but there are a few walks you can take, and from next year the kitchen garden will be available to walk around. I presume the hotel will use ingredients from this in the restaurants. They have their own bees on site, which is a nice touch. Look out for Fairmont honey coming soon, I should think. The southern lawn is where weddings can take place or in the summer months you can relax outside. The 1215 bar and restaurant overlook this private terrace. The spa and wellness facility are yet to open and there is still much to be done. We managed to get a sneak peek of what will be a world-class facility. When ready, there will be 18 treatment rooms, four wellness rooms, sauna, steam room, cryotherapy, ice fountain, Japanese foot bath, this courtyard hydrotherapy vitality pool that still has to be finished, and so much more. So do check out the website for the extensive list of services and facilities. This should all be ready early January for the grand opening of the hotel. The gym is huge and offers an impressive selection of equipment that should meet any gym goer's needs. They also offer spinning classes and yoga.
On the north side of the hotel is a complete conference center area with meeting rooms available for smaller groups. In the lower ground is a large bar and social area that moves into a very nice ballroom or conference space. I'm sure weddings will be hosted here too. The Fairmont Windsor Park is shaping up to be a very special hotel. We thoroughly enjoyed our three days here during the soft launch. Do check with the hotel what new areas have opened up before the full opening in January. Do give us a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel. We cover many travel guides from across the world and you may well like those. Thanks very much for watching the Memory Seekers and we'll see you again soon.